go. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> Lily, I think you're on. There you, go. there you go. Is it working now? Okay. Yep. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, okay. okay. Um, right now we got seven participants. I'm trying to wait just on everybody to get here. So just bear with me for a minute. I have to add everybody as they log in. Can you see the people. And I'll have to worry about catching like eight buses. Look, uh, cool. Not the point of it. Hmm? Should be working now. Okay. All right, looks like we got just about every, got about seven people in here so far. So let's just wait a couple more minutes, uh, see if we get anybody else to join and then um, we'll get started. Um, once we get started, I'm going to mute everybody. So you should be able to hear me. And um, that way there won't be any interruptions for the first little bit. Um, assuming you guys all have been to the um, one day website and saw the video with the welcoming from our principals and vice principals. Um, I'll take you back there and I'll show you a little bit of that tonight. Um, got one couple more that are just joining. You guys all comfortable using Zoom? Yeah. Yes. Good. <laughs> Just adding a couple more. It's running a little bit slow, so it won't be too bad. I'll be right back. This is the construction. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the construction. It was. It was that. Like we have about 11 people here. Um, I'll be your host tonight, obviously. My name is Troy Dennis, and I'm a teacher at Fairfield Career Center. I teach the uh, construction technology program, all of which you guys are joining. You're gonna love it here. It's nice. We do a um, pretty good job of training you guys for industry, any, any field that you would like to go into. We focus your first year on carpentry and safety, so you have to push a 10 hour course. Second year, if you're not doing school to work, we do um, plumbing, electric, and HVAC. So it's just a um, pretty basic classroom. We use core 
curriculum. It's this book here to teach you your um, OSHA 10. So you'll get that certification really quickly. Hopefully we'll be able to get that done within the first four or five weeks. And then we'll go into the carpentry book from there. And each of these will be provided for you guys. So that way you can do, we can do everything online if necessary, except for actually building the product. Oh, I forgot to introduce, I have Mike Scott in here with me tonight. He is one of the um, academic teachers here. He teaches uh, sciences. Um, he's going to talk to you or answer any questions you guys might have about uh, academics. So real quick, I am going to just go over a um, few things. I'm going to go ahead and jump off my screen and show you some of the stuff that you'll need to be looking at on the um, one day this summer. So give me one second and I'll get that log loaded up here. You wiped off. So you should all be able to see on my screen here shortly the um, one day website where you guys all had to go to to join in this um, Zoom chat. And then once you get in there, you'll see the Fairfield Career Center New Student Celebration. Of course, you all like there already. So you've been there. You watched the lovely video from our principal and vice principal. Um, scroll down through the links. I don't know how far have you made it past the links, but down here are several more links on that page that you'll want to look at. The uh, uniform information and ordering is important this year because you guys will be wearing uniforms very similar to, it's exactly the same as the shirt that I'm wearing. It's construction black with a little bit of orange on the sides. Uh, they're, they're very versatile, lightweight. They don't snag. Um, they're really comfortable. Uh, you won't get hot or anything in them. But unfortunately, we don't have a um, measurements for you guys this year. So you're going to have to do it yourself. So if you click on that link, it'll open up and then there is a uh, uniform fitting guide right here. And it shows you how to measure yourself. So, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, aunt, uncle, next door neighbor, whoever you'd like to get to help you with that. Um, try to make sure you get your measurements correct because they do have a very strict okay. no refund yep. policy. Um, unfortunately, I don't, know that they're going to change that because of a virus. So if you're at all unsure, I would go a little bit bigger. That way you avoid any unnecessary task um, problems. A little bit bigger. Yeah, you want to be a little bit bigger. I mean, this is a large and I'm a pretty decent sized guy, but I can also wear the extra large and it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I think we, yeah. yeah, you guys will have to do your own class scheduling this year. It's very simple. Um, you'll click on that link there. It will take you to a form where you can see this link here. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, that'll take you to a um, survey monkey, answer some basic questions, and it will get you signed up for your school year for next year. Um, next year is not as important as your senior year, but you'll want to try and get scheduled properly. Um, Mike will talk to you a little bit more about the classes. And then last but not least, there are some uh, frequently asked questions for um, new students. So if you have any questions, check here first. Um, if not, I will post my email in chat later so that way you'll have it. And uh, I'd like for you guys to shoot me some emails this summer. Let me know what you're doing. Um, just how many, of, uh, how many of you guys are going to have and everything. Also, a link for the... Um, school calendar so some of the important dates are on here you see when we go back to school when your vacations are uh what dates we have off and on christmas break all that kind of stuff it's a pretty good calendar they they go through it pretty well uh and then the bell schedule is also in there transportation information and if you need to contact anybody all that stuff's in there's a lot of information on that page um so if you do have any questions, my email address. Are you gonna take them? Yeah. That have just popped up in your group chat. <coughs> so write that down. Anytime you have questions, shoot me an email, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Check off. Want to finish? Yep.
Any questions we have one there? If you don't, there should be here's the pen. We have uh, Jacob. I got one. Jalen? Okay. That's your teacher. Yeah. He should be in there. Okay. I got it right down here. I wrote his teacher's information in your email. Okay. I'm going to unmute all of you real quick. Mike has, um, he's going to take attendance real quick. So if you're here, just say yes. Some people's names pop up, some people's don't. So if I don't, Justin, I've got you. Here. Catherine, I've got you. Here. Is it Colby Vest or Jason Vest? Colby. Colby? I've got one that says user. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure who that is. I'll mute you real quick. So you should notice that a mute came up and then I'll unmute you. So who is that? Um, I'm Levi Recksteiner. Okay, your Cameron's cousin. Levi, I've got you. I've heard about you. <laughs> All good oh, things, I hope Levi. Good. All good things. Oh, okay. Isaac, <laughs> I've got you. Yeah. Is it Leah? No, Leah. Leah. Okay, got you. I think that's it. All right. You need to say your name. I'm here. Caleb Zill. <coughs> Caleb. Yeah, just say yeah. your name. Did we miss anybody? Uh, Brendan Freeland. Okay. Did you, get, did you get Ian McCaffrey? Ian McCaffrey. Nope. Gotcha. So I have Wendy, Catherine, Justin, Jason, Jake, Isaac. <laughs> Ashton, Alex, Reich Steiner, wow. Tiffany, and Lalia, right? Oh, oh, Tiffany. oh, um, I'm under my mom's account, so it's Caleb Zill instead of Tiffany Zill. Okay. I'm under my dad's account. My name is Colby. Colby. Colby and we're having connection problems where we live. So Brendan Freeland is um, temporarily using Ashton Freeland's account. Okay. He's a little blurry because Ashton cracked his phone. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. I understand. That's his twin. <laughs> I buy a good case. That's the best thing you can do. Well, we thought we had a good case, but apparently we don't. <laughs> I don't <download> <laughs> All right, so just some important dates I'm gonna give you real quick. Um, April, or I'm sorry, July 19th is the last day that you can get free shipping on your uniforms. So I would suggest you get on there relatively soon. And um, well, you got till July, but sooner the better. Get them ordered, that way you don't have to pay for shipping and they'll ship them here to the school. And then on back to school night, which is August 11th, that's when you'll pick it up. Uh, and as far as we know, it's still scheduled um, for normal year next year. Um, we don't really know how it's going to pan out with all this virus stuff and the stay at home orders, but um, we're going to plan for a normal year, which is a lot of lab work. We don't spend um, a lot of time in the classrooms. Uh, I try to keep it to the less than 40 minutes a day max. Usually it's right around 20. Um, so I can mute you, Mike, that way. That way. So that's fine. Cool. Having some more. Excuse. Does anybody have any questions? Let me let me unmute everybody real quick. Got uh, no, not for Brendan. No. Okay. Are you guys looking forward to a grand time in construction class, learning how to shoot some nail guns and run some power tools and run a bobcat and scissor lift and forklift and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> yeah. Very excited here. Good. Very, very, very excited. 
I have a lot of people who want to hire you guys, um, starting anywhere from fourteen to twenty dollars an hour, depending upon your experience level. But they're they're dying for employees right now, so you guys will um, be able to get a good solid job when you come out of here. That is for sure. Same. Um, our guidance counselor is Mr. Phil Hauer. He might pop in later. So he'll be the one that helps you with um, um, scheduling. Oh, Mr. Rose here. Let's admit him real quick. I want you guys all to say hello to Mr. Rose. He'll be joining here shortly. Good evening, Mr. Rose. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Thank you, Mr. Dennison, for the introduction. How is everyone this evening? Good. 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 Uh, I will be brief with my remarks. I know you're here to hear from Mr. D um, and also Mr. Scott. So I am here this evening just to offer you one more time. Congratulations. Um, welcome to Fairfield Career Center. We are excited that you have chosen us uh, to give us an opportunity to let you carry forth some learning, some trades um, in the construction industry. Um, we're excited to have you join us in the fall. Um, we want you to enjoy your summer, obviously. It sounds like things may be starting to get back to normal um, with some of the announcements today. Um, so we want you to enjoy your summer. Hopefully you'll come just as excited in the fall as we will be excited to have you uh, and, and learn with you for the next two years. Um, you've chosen a great program. There's a high demand um, in this particular field. Um, you come in and you give your attention to Mr. Dennison. I know that you will be successful at the end of your two years, okay? So, Mr. Dennison, I told you I'd be brief. I'm popping in and popping out to a lot of other meetings. So, thank you for giving me an opportunity. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. And uh, again, congratulations, everyone. And we'll see you all in the fall. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. You'll see a lot of them. They um they try to get around the building quite a bit. They are always a presence in the hallways. Um, we have two, I believe we hired a third one for this upcoming year. Our school's growing to such a point that we, uh, we need three principals at this point. So we have the um, principal, vice principal, and a supervisor. Uh, we have two guidance counselors. We have a wonderful library uh, for you guys to um, pretty much check out any kind of magazine, nonfiction. Uh, she has a uh, fantastic online resources. Uh, for you. Um, we have a um, pretty much every academic class that you can take at your home school we offer here. The uh, only thing that we do not cover is your gym class. So if you've um, missed gym, you'll need to make that up through Treka. I'm not sure if you guys are aware what Treka is. Yes. Online <laughs> um, courses, they're sometimes easier and you also have the option to take some of your um, junior and senior courses online uh, that you've missed from your homeschool. So we can take care of all that once you're here. Uh, Mr. Scott, am I missing anything? Uh, health, you have to take care of health before you get here as well. Or else you can do it yeah. like through your homeschool or through checkup. <coughs> I got an itch in my throat, I think I swallowed a bug. But we have a um, student learning center that is top notch here. They go out of their way. All the teachers here do. They'll, they'll follow you around the building. They'll track you down. They'll make sure that your grades are where they need to be, that you're um, successful. Uh, that's our goal here is to try to get you out into the workforce and get you through high school in the most pleasing fashion as possible and um, get you a trade and uh, hopefully put you to work halfway through your junior year. <coughs> I got to grab some water. Mr. Scott, you want to say something to him real quick or? Yeah, do you guys, does anybody have any academic questions at all? I'm sure that's not why you jumped on here to learn about science or English or whatever you need, but if you guys have any academic uh, questions, I can answer those. Any questions on how the school runs? Catherine has a question. Um, Sorry. I just, I was just how difficult the classes are, and do they have, like, different ranges, like, like AP classes and honors? There are some accelerated courses um, for possible college credit. Um, you know, like freshman comp, there's an admin physiology course, there's some math courses. 
uh, if you pass the test, you get credit at a college as well. Um, so there is a variety of ranges as far as the classes go. As far as AP, there is no AP courses. Okay, the thank you. AP courses. Thank you. Gabrielle, we Gabrielle? just had a new person join. How are you doing tonight? Must be muted, maybe. Well, normally, this is about the time where I would take you on a virtual, not a virtual tour, but a uh, actual tour of the lab. Um, it's kind of in shambles right now because we're doing inventory. Uh, and normally, that's something that you guys help with. So the good news is when you come in uh, next year, you'll get to help me put it all away. So you'll learn where every tool is in the lab and where it all belongs. So it'll be nice. Um, awesome. Make it easier for you. Um, it's a junior job, so you'll have to do it twice. Uh, seniors get out of it just because they're, well, they're seniors and they just don't have to do the, the one tough thing in the lab. So, any questions? Girl. Yes. Mr. Dennison, will they do lab first with you and then their academics, or will they have the academics first part of the day and then? Their lab. Their their junior year, their lab is with me first, and then they do academics at the end of the day, uh, and then it's reverse their senior year. That way, they can come in, take classes early in the morning, and then leave for school to work. Uh, we get them out of here sometimes as early as nine o'clock, nine thirty. Um, so junior year, they'll be with me first thing in the morning. So I get I get to wake them up. It's nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you have planned what you start out with? Like what's the first thing that they're going to be learning? We always start with um, the basics. What I what do is um, I, I like to, I'm a project guy. I like working with uh, uh, my hands more than I do with books. So some of the first things we'll do is we'll get you familiar with the lab. We'll, we'll get you out there uh, with small hand tools, get you used to hand tools. Uh, get you started on some hand saws and we'll push you forward into uh, the heavier tools, the uh, circular saws um, and the uh, table saws, miter saws, all that kind of stuff. I know a lot of you guys probably already know how to use them, but we still have to do testing. It's just required for our insurance and for your certifications that I actually watch you do it. So we do small projects. First thing you'll do is start with like a birdhouse and then you'll go up to a... Um, um, You'll build your own sawhorse uh, from one that I have out in the lab. You'll have to draw your own blueprints. Uh, and then you'll start working on um, actual carpentry. You'll start learning how to frame floors, frame walls, windows, doors, ceilings, rafters, stairs, all that stuff. So mostly we start with safety. The first couple of weeks are kind of weird around here because it takes time to get everybody their computers, get them all logged in, uh, get them in their OSHA 10 hour course, and all that kind of stuff. So the first week or so, kind of go slow so we try to have some fun try to get to know each other a little bit get out in the lab um you know set the rules boundaries that kind of stuff uh it's it's pretty it's, it's pretty laid back how many kids are in the class right now i have 19 i think um but it changes it, it, we had 24 at one point um, the most we can have is 25 and then they have to get me an assistant at that point. Uh, so I think we can go up to 28 or 30 by contract, but it's usually somewhere between 15 and 20. Okay. So it's manageable. It's not too so bad. He has band. He's going to stay in band. So would he right be in band and then come to your class? You mean in the morning band? Yeah. I don't know how that works. Um, Mike, do you know? I it's think it was kind of like case to case basis. Yeah. I know some kids do that at uh, the end of the day, beginning of the day, just kind of, they, you were, have to work that out with counselors and such. Do we work it out with your counselors or for the high school counselors or how both. do we? Both. Both, okay. Yeah. It's a transportation issue, I think, uh, because the bus is only run at a certain time and I know they're required right. to give you guys busing, but not if you're like late or missing. Right. You know, You'll have a car. Okay, but yeah, I think I, I think what they're actually going to want you to do is do 
lab first and then do band somehow. I'm not, I'm not sure really. You'll have to talk to Mr. Phil Hauer. He's our guidance counselor. Um, his, um, all of our emails have that at EFCTS like mine does. His is, um, I'll put it in chat so you can see it. You can okay. see him in Thank email. you. Yeah. So that should be how you get a hold of him there. Uh, it's Brett, uh, Mr. Phil Hauer is his name. Thank you. I like the guy with the Ohio State stuff on. At least he's rooting for the right team, right? All right. <laughs> it's all good natured here. I don't mind Michigan. It's uh, it's fun to beat up somebody. He's got to beat him up. So might as well be us. Uh, I'm a Buckeye fan. I went to Ohio State. Uh, been born and raised here. I've lived here my whole life. I've worked um, all over the United States. I um, did commercial construction. I remodeled uh, high-rise buildings and funeral homes. Uh, my area was uh, from Maine to Florida, east of the Mississippi. So I traveled quite a bit for the um, better part of five years. Uh, I built about 200 houses in and around Central Ohio, and I've remodeled, I don't even know how many we remodeled, decks and fences and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm very versatile in everything. Uh, I'm a licensed electrician by trade, but I'm also a master carpenter, a uh, master plumber. So I'm, I'm good at it all. There's a few of us out there that are like that. Mr. Scott's like that too. He's very, um, for a science guy, he's pretty good with his hands. Anything else? Um, <laughs> if you're doing a sport or a track, um, is gym required? I believe if you play a sport, it will count. As me, gym. Now, don't let me interject. On it depends on your school. Yes. Okay. Some schools will take it. Some schools don't. So that's a that's a whole. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, you guys want me to show you a little bit of the lab? Yeah. Most of you, a lot of you guys look familiar. Um, so I think a lot of you were here for sophomore visitation or a couple other things. Uh, I can't go long because my laptop is low on battery, but I will um, show you around just a little bit. Uh, our classroom is behind us, so we actually separate and go out through a whole different set of doors. And you'll be able to see that the uh, lab is considerable. Oh, cool. it's very big, very large. Up top up there is where we do our electrical work, where that Makita sign is. You can see some of the uh, construction that the uh, kids did last year. These are the buildings that they built. There's about 15 or 20 of them back there all stacked up. This here, Bobcat. It'll be like um, these are all the tools that you guys get to put away next year. Yay! Uh, and then we have a whole other building outside uh, that where we do our plumbing. Um, very extensive um, set of tools around here, so it's it's pretty nice. We work on a uh, tiny house also. You can kind of see here what some of the kids are building. Uh, <laughs> so cool. Yeah, it was interrupted, of course, because of this stinking virus. So we're not sure, you know, we'll have to finish the juniors for next year. And then it's going to get bright. I don't know if you'll be able to see. But we've got a whole other building out here behind yeah. me. Yep. <laughs> you can see that. That's where we do our plumbing. All the barns back there are ours. We have a whole other fenced-in area outside where we do concrete, brick, block work, all that kind of stuff. But we've got we've got some really good quality table saws, planers, routers, joiners, which really aren't part of the program. But if you get ahead of the game, and I don't want to say get bored because you won't ever get bored. I'll make you all find stuff for you to do. But um, we do finish woodwork. Uh, we build all kinds of fun little bowls and bees nests, and we built uh, Thor's hammer last year, uh, building a lathe wooden bowl for my daughter. So, bees nests, 
bee catchers. Uh, I love projects. You know, building things is fun as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's not just learning carpentry. It's learning how to um, have a good time while you're doing it. Uh, so that's a little bit of the lab. Uh, I think my dad actually helped build uh, some of the buildings out back. They might be the ones that he built. Brendan's grandpa. Nice. Cool. So he went to, his grandpa went to school here or he was a... Uh, um, no, he just uh, helped he working, build. He was working for a business at some point, and he either helped build part of it or part of the foundation of the, of the actual school. I'm not sure. cool. Yeah, this school has started off small, and um, the first initial area we've grown, they've added three phases to this building. And they're thinking about adding more at some point. I think we're going to get a whole nother building. I'm hoping they put the uh, construction program out there, but it, who knows where, where we'll end up. They're currently building some more buildings at Eastland too. So uh, we're growing. People are starting to realize that is, uh, it's a good idea to learn a trade. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So any other questions from anyone? No. Mm -hmm. No, did we cover everything pretty good? Yes. Fantastic. All right, well, if you don't have any more questions, feel free to jump out. If you want to stay in chat just a little bit or show me something you build, you're more than welcome to. Uh, everybody got my email address? Yes. Okay, and you got Mr. Yeah. Phil Howers. And if um, the links are all on our webpage, so if you need anything, shoot me an email. Uh, I check my email usually at least once a day during the summer, maybe once every other day. Um, like you guys during the summer, I kind of shut down, go kayaking and stuff. So I disappear for a little while. I do have a question. Okay, shoot. Um, so we already ordered the uniform for Brendan, and he has steel toed boots, but they're more like we, they're Wolverine, but they don't link up. They're more like what we wear out the farm in or whatever. Okay. Do we need a lace-up boot, or do the, those boots just fine? I would think the boots are just fine. Um, okay. I don't require them to wear a steel toe boot. It's nice that they get used to it, because a lot of construction companies do require steel toe boots. Uh, okay. But for here, a lot of times what happens is kids buy brand new steel toe boots, and then they're miserable for the first year, because they take a while to break in. So if you are buying new boots, what I would do is put them on, go find the nearest creek and walk in that creek for a little while. Get yeah, them we've had them for a while. yeah, if you've had them for a while, you'll know what I mean. They get a whole lot more comfortable, but get them yeah. broke in before you try to wear them in here for a little bit. Um, if anything I've learned in my entire life, the thing you want to spend money on is shoes. Uh, yes. If your feet are sore, you're miserable. So a good <laughs> pair of boots is invaluable. But they are pretty strict about the um, the uniforms here. We do reward you for wearing your uniform on a regular basis uh, for good grades for attendance and will allow you to dress down. But uh, other than that, that's a, like a once every other Friday or something like that. And then they'll do like theme days where uh, you wear your favorite gear. I mean, we only let Ohio State stuff down here in carpentry, but kid, you can wear whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> So will they be wearing the outfit all day? All day long, yes. You're required okay. to be in your okay. uniform all day. There's no changing into tennis shoes. When you're in your boots, you're in your boots all day. Um, so can now, I order another outfit after he starts? I would suggest having two, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. I have about four of them myself, but I'm in the lab all day. So after a full day in the lab, I, I, I get dirty. So I, I have, uh, I think two is enough. Um, okay. Maybe just one pair of pants and two of the shirts. It's really up to you. I buy my pants at Goodwill because I go through them so much. But uh, you guys have to wear the uniform pants, so they're a little different. Are the uniform pants black as well, or I mean, it can be any uniform? No, they're 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 specifically. It'll when you go to that web page, it'll show you what you have to purchase. All you they're need. Cargo to khakis. Yeah, they're cargo khakis. Okay. Yeah. It, they kind of, I mean, they look kind of like these. Yeah. Yeah. They have to the They're comfortable. Uh, yours have pockets on them, I believe. Yeah. Uh, 
which are nice. Uh, I probably need to order me a couple pair of them for this year. But like I said, I go through the pants so quickly that I, 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 I buy mine at Goodwill. You, you know, you get five pair for five bucks. So. We ordered ours, and with his shirt and his pants, we only ordered one, but I'll go ahead and order some more. But we had it sent to the school, so we got free shipping. So all together, you'll pay like 54 for the shirt and the pants, which is pretty reasonable to me. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad at all. Yeah. And then there should be no other fees. Uh, we buy no, your I didn't have, we No, we just paid for the shirt, no shipping, and I don't think we paid any tax either because we, we sent it to you guys instead of having it sent home. Okay. Good. But yeah, for the mailing address, you would put um, the career center. Okay. And it'll automatically deduct it when you log um, when you go to check out, and it should be around fifty four. And if it's not, then just email the lady. I believe it was the principal that sent out everything. Just email her, and she's she keeps in touch very well. Teresa Dirk, and I believe. Yes. Was the one. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's higher up the food chain than the principal. Mm -hmm. She works in amalgamated amalgamated um, because we have two schools. So they have a separate building where all the, the big bosses live. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, really yeah, you can email her too. Um, it would be the same thing if you need to uh, have any questions. Her email is. Um, <laughs> right there. I just typed it in. So um, that would be email related questions. Michael, I think you're muted. I'll unmute you. Uh, are you able to use or are you able to wear the outdoor option, the outerwear option as a part of your uniform as well? Or does it have to be those specific shirts? It's these specific shirts. Well, I did add an option for an undershirt this year because I have a problem with kids getting cold out in the lab. <coughs> But it's just like a black undershirt. It's long sleeved. I suggest you buy one of those for the winter. Um, and then, yeah, it is this this specific okay. shirt. I planned on getting a couple of those, but I didn't know if I could get the outerwear also, so she could alternate. Now, now, the outerwear is a jacket, and that's just you can wear that if you're cold. I heard that was really important. What he said about who was underneath your shirt, because I have to be aware of checkings. They turned the website in. All right. So, so your the jacket option, yeah. I didn't see that. Brendan's a, um, a full blown type one diabetic. So he gets really cold. I didn't see it, like, yeah. There is a jacket option, and they. I honestly don't know what it looks like um, for okay. this year. Last year it was black, the year before that it was gray. So it's it's different um, every year, but there should be a jacket, and it's the same for everybody in the building, I believe, except for HVAC, and they have their own jacket. Do you okay. have to buy the jacket? Nope, nope. Okay. But if you're cold, you that's the one. That's the only one they'll let you wear throughout the building. They don't. They, they're very strict on no hoodies, uh, no sweatshirts, none of that kind of stuff. If it can't be seen, if it's under your shirt and they can't see it, then it's fine. But. Um, yeah, uniform is um, we it's just part. You're gonna wear a uniform when you're in, when you're at work. Uh, you go on a job site, you'll be in some form of orange or yellow. If you're um, you know, if you're in HVAC, you're gonna have some high visibility stuff. So we're trying to get kids used to it at this point, and we're we just we just maintain a pretty strict uniform policy. Okay. Well, I had a question. Can I? Can you hear me? Yeah, Michael. I'm, I'm I'm Michael's mother. We were looking at the uniforms. Um, he usually wears a comfortable medium, but this, when I measure him, it said he would wear a small. So I was wondering how true to size. Like, uh, I normally I wear an extra large in shirts, and this is a large, and it's a little snug on me. So if you're at all concerned, I would go a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, because if it's exact measurements but doesn't have much give, then I would go like to go a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's, always, it's always better to have it a little bit too big. At least you can put on a, you know, a small shirt underneath it. I always wear an undershirt underneath mine. Um, okay. Oh, Mr. Phil Howers here. This is our guidance counselor. I'm going to mid him. He's going to want to talk to you guys for a little bit. If you have any questions about scheduling or anything like that, Um Mr. Phil Hauer will be the guy that you want to talk to. And uh, let me make sure that I have him unmuted. 
Mexico. Uh, everybody say hello to Mr. Phil Hauer. Hi, Mr. Phil Hauer. How's everybody tonight? Good. Good. How are you? How are you? Good. 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 Can I hijack your meeting real quick? Right on. So you. <laughs> All right. Um, good evening. Uh, my name's uh, Brad Phil Hauer. I'm the school counselor for the construction program. Uh, so I want to congratulate you on being accepted and joining the family at Fairfield next year. Um, in addition to construction, I also am the counselor for auto, automotive, uh, criminal justice, health and policy, HVAC, and cybersecurity. Um, and we also have another counselor in the building who has all the other programs, and that's Mrs. Thompson. You'll meet her sometime down the road as well. Um, I may, uh, I want to, I want to share my screen with you guys in just a second. I may be repeating some information you've already heard or you may hear later, but I want to just really quick to show you where you go to request your class schedule for next year, how to, how to request the classes you want to take. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a screen share here real quick and show you where we are here. So on the, um, you might see the screen here. Yeah. Big green arrow. Um, this is the one day EFCTS site. I'm sure you've seen it or received information about it. Within this site, uh, there is a Google form that's been built to allow you to uh, submit your class request for next year. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and show you where that is. Okay. So within the site here, you'll see a link here that says class scheduling information for ECC and FCC accepted students. You just click that. And that takes you into the scheduling page. And there's a few different links in here um, to show you. Uh, this, this top section just has a little bit of uh, information about class scheduling and why we're doing it this way, I guess. But what we're looking for here is this link right here. That's the link that takes you to the scheduling form to actually put your class request in for what you want to take. Um, as you're dealing with the, the process of doing that, if you have questions, there is a link here that has some frequently asked questions that we get asked often at new student orientation. So if you've got a question, there's a chance we probably already had that question asked at some point. So we built this FAQ sheet for you guys to click into and, and check those out. If that doesn't answer your question and you say, okay, I need to ask the, ask the question that's not on here, you can come down here. There's another Google form that allows you to submit a, a question um, all the counselors get an email and we will respond if it's, if it's our program we'll respond so if you have a question you submit it on this form um, I'll get that in, that email that it'll be one of the construction students and I will get back with you uh, either by phone or by email however you say you want me to get back with you um, and we'll, we'll work out whatever question it is that you have um, so let me show you this uh, the scheduling form real quick. I'll, I'll just kind of go through a couple screens so you can get an idea what it looks like. So when you click on this, it'll ask you on the first page what career center you're going to be at next year. So you're Fairfield. So you click that and hit next. And then you'll have to enter your name. I'll make up a bunch of garbage up there for a name. And then your home school. And then you'll pick your program. You are, where is it? There it is, construction. You click on that and hit next. And then it takes you into your class choices. So you'll pick your English class, hit next. It'll take you to math. You'll select your math class, you hit next. Um, and then as you move through this, and it also has descriptions of the classes, so you kind of have an idea what they are. Um, so as you move through this and you select your classes, um, when you get to the end, there'll be a button you hit to submit it. And what that does is it populates the spreadsheet for us. And then we use that in the summertime um, when we we actually build your class schedule. Um, we will get copies of your transcripts from your homeschool when the school year is over so that we can look at the transcripts and know, let's jump out of here. We look at the transcripts and look at your class selection so we make sure that you are being placed in the correct class. And if there is a discrepancy, if it's a uh, not an e if it's an easy fix, we'll just correct it. If it's something a little bit more complicated, then we will reach out and contact you uh, to discuss it over the summer and, and make sure that we get you in the right classes for next year. Okay. Does that have does that bring up any questions? Is everybody good with that? No, thank you. Good, thanks. Oops. Thank you. Okay. And 
in one of the previous uh, meetings I was in, uh, one of the students asked if they've already scheduled classes for their homeschool next year, will we get that information? And the answer is no, we don't. Um, if you if you put class requests into your homeschool for this year and then you got accepted to come to the Career Center, um, don't don't expect that we're going to get those sent to us. So please go ahead and go on to that website that I just showed you and do submit your classes, uh, even if you've already sent them to your homeschool because we're a different school and we may not have that information from them. Okay, that's all, all right. I have. Um, again, that's congratulations on your, congratulations on your acceptance and. I look forward to meeting you in person rather than on a computer screen. <laughs> Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, last but not least, our um, vice principal, Mr. Stidham, has joined us. I'll probably, I'm going to let him have the mic here for a minute. He probably wants to say hello to everyone. So welcome, Mr. Stidham, everybody. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, hey, congratulations, everyone. Uh, we're excited for uh, your acceptance into the Career Center, um, a change that, you know, you're going to embark upon a new journey, learn some new skills, uh, challenge yourself, you're going, to, you're going to surprise yourself, you're going to be surprised, and you're going to accomplish some amazing things. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, all the opportunities that uh, are going to be before you um, over the next couple of years. Uh, you have an incredible instructor, and we have an incredible team here at Fairfield, all the way through academics, the office staff, support staff. Um, anything that you need, don't hesitate to ask. Any questions that you have over the summer, feel free to reach out. Um, we'll be in the office. Uh, don't hesitate to call the school, send emails. Uh, we'll get your questions answered as soon as we're able. Uh, but nonetheless, I wish I could meet you in person tonight, uh, but thank you for joining. Uh, over the next couple weeks and couple months, look forward to that communication uh, from district level as well as the building level and um, of upcom upcoming and important dates um, as they approach. So nonetheless, congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Have a good night. Stay safe. <laughs> You'll see him in and out of the lab quite a bit. Uh, he likes to pop his head in and out and take a look at what we're doing. He's uh, He's quite crafty himself. He's another one of those guys. He built his own little uh, addition on the back of his porch. Um, he's not as good as I am, but he's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Good night, Bob. Night. He was still there. He heard everything. Oh, I didn't know he was still there. Yeah, he's a good guy. I really like him. He's uh, he's fun to be around. He, he he's a project guy too. So he comes down whenever he has questions. His um. Elements just went out on his hot water tank this weekend, so he was calling me, uh, trying to figure out how he could get it fixed and what to do to solve the problem. So we worked our way through it. So, all right, people, at six forty-five. Um, does anybody else have any questions for us? No. Um, no. Oh, we logged in late, Michael. Spent. I'm sorry. I wrote down seven on the at seven o'clock. And so I actually thought we were early, but we were late. Did we miss anything at the beginning? Uh, mostly what I did was I showed you some stuff. If you want to stick around with everybody else. If you guys don't have any more questions, you don't have to stay. I appreciate you stopping in tonight. We had a great turnout. Um, I'm glad that you guys all were able to come. But um, feel free to uh, go on about your evening and enjoy it because it's supposed to snow tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, do you guys do like a spirit week? Uh, we have something similar to that where we have what will allow you to do is wear your homeschool uh, stuff. It's like the theme dress down days that we have. Um, and we have all a bunch of different events that the um, um, our um, organizations, school organizations do here. So there's there's a lot of different things that you'll be involved with. Yeah. I'm not sure we call it Spirit Week, but it's something like that. Thanks. Yep. Awesome. All right, so if you're all done, you can log out and I will, who was late? Michael? Michael, okay. yeah. Okay, basically what I did was is I showed people the um, website. So if you may, were you here with Mr. Phil Hauer was on? Yes. Okay, so you saw the webpage, and um, I'll do a screen share with you real quick. 
to uh, show you some of the stuff that we did not show you. So on that main page where you go and you saw the video of our principal and vice principal, if you scroll down, um, there are many important links down through here. It's how to get your uniform, uh, any questions you might have, the calendar school year for next year, um, transportation information if you're going to ride the bus or um, anything like that. So there's any questions. Um, hopefully these will walk you through it. Um, if you can't get it answered through there, um, shoot me an email. Can you see in our Zoom group chat is my email address still in there? T. Dennison um, at EFCTS. Um, we're looking. Down in the bottom, if you click on chat, it should pop up on the right hand side. Oh, yes. Okay, we see it. Okay, yeah, write that email address down and shoot me an email if there's if you if you have any questions at all all summer. It's uh, the one that's T Durkin at EFCTS. Nope, I'm the one above it, T Dennison. Okay, that's not showing up. Okay, I'll <laughs> type it in for you real quick. Get it? Okay, there, T Dennison at EFCTS. Okay. Yeah. And those links will show you how to get your uniform, um, what shirt you should order, what pants you should wear. Uh, the boots are just construction boots. I would suggest buying a nice pair because um, you'll get used to them and get them on soon and start wearing them around. That way you'll get comfortable with them. Um, important date is uh, July 19th. You have to have your uniform ordered by for free shipping. So that saves you some money there. Um, it's not that expensive. I think 50, 60 bucks is for one uniform. I would suggest you get two of the shirts. Um, okay. Yeah, just because you'll have them for the next two years. You, you might want to order one for this year, one for next year. I don't know how you want to do it. It's, it's really up to you. Uh, I usually go through about two of them a year. Um, okay. And back to school night is August 11th. They will, e they will shoot your... Um, uniforms here and you'll be able to pick them up on back to school night. Okay. And then there's a, um, inside that links that I was showing you, there's also the school calendar. So anything else, uh, any other questions as far as like planning vacations and things like that. Okay. Um, just remember that your home school is now here. If, if your school is shut down, you're not shut down. You're, we still go to school. So um, okay. they okay. still will provide busing for you, even if they're closed. Uh, unless okay. it's a calamity day, unless it's like a snow day or an emergency or something like that. Okay, we have looked through that. For the boots, should he get steel toe boots? That is up to him. Um, a lot what of. What do you recommend? I don't. Uh, I don't. It doesn't matter to me. It depends on the application, like uh, factory work, things like that. You don't want some require you to wear it. I don't like steel toe, um, but it's something that he should get used to. Uh, the okay. hard composite plastic ones are a little more comfortable. Mike, what do you think? I mean, um, kind of personal choice. <laughs> I don't know. It is really, it's a personal choice. It's really up to you. Hey, another question. Michael's been homeschooled, and they told us that he would still be able to do his home, his other classes with our co-op that we do. Uh, yeah. Uh, I have so to so do I just leave the scheduling blank then, that section, not answer it? <laughs> I would shoot Mr. Phil Hauer an email um, and verify with him. His email uh, is, I'll post it right here for you. Okay, I did see that counselors have a, an email. Yeah. Questions, just send it to that. Yeah, send it to that. Oh, I see, okay. He'll let you know for sure. Uh, I have one kid right now that leaves and goes back to his homeschool, and I also have another kid that is homeschooled, and he leaves um, right as soon as we're done. So he'd be out of here at 10.53, essentially. Okay. All right. That's great to know. Thank you. Yeah. All right. We have been looking over everything. I don't – I'm sorry I was late. It was all my fault. I wrote down 7 o'clock – Seven for some reason, and so I thought we were really early getting on here. And Michael said it was at six, so sorry about that. That's no problem. <laughs> I'm glad I'm just glad you made it. Yeah, me too. Um, I think otherwise everything's been pretty self-explanatory with all the literature that we've come across and and the links we've looked on. It's been real helpful. 
Yeah, they've done a really good job of putting all this stuff together last minute. I mean, normally we do this in person, so um, I, you know, they've done they've done a pretty good job getting all this put together in a very short amount of time. So, but okay. yeah, if you have any questions, just shoot me an email, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Yeah, we are too. Michael's excited about it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I met you before, Mike. You've been in here a couple times, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought I thought you looked familiar. Yeah. So. Uh, once you get in here long enough, we'll get you a nickname or something. We won't be Mike okay. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you guys for coming. All righty. Goodbye. Bye. Okay. I think that's it, buddy. See ya. Good night.